In this video, I'm going to give you my top five double edge safety razors of 2021. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back. And before we get into the list today, just a couple of notes. For one, this is just my list. It very well may differ from yours. And these are my favorites. These are the razors that I really, really enjoyed using in 2021. It just turned out to be my five favorite double-edged safety razors. No single-edged razors in this video. That will be in a future video. And so let's kick it off with my first one. And these are in no particular order of preference. Number one is the Timeless uh, razor. It is just an amazing razor. Now this one happens to be titanium, but you can also get it in stainless steel. And look at that amazing handle on this razor. Timeless is made here in the USA. Uh, it is really an excellent, efficient shaver. This particular one comes in the 0.68 or 0.95 blade gap plates. It is an amazingly efficient uh, razor. And I love the way they do their open comb design with those rounded open comb. Now this one is the 0.95 in titanium. The titanium offerings at Timeless start out at $225, which is pricey, but I'm going to tell you, for a premium razor, it's hard to go wrong with Timeless, and Timeless is always in my top list because it's just an amazing razor. And up next we have the Blackland Blackbird Razor, and this razor is available in both stainless steel and titanium, and the Stainless, I believe, starts at $200. This is an efficient razor. It is very well built. I really enjoyed using this in 2021. Really efficient, really nice. I love the handle design there. If you can see that, Blackland just makes amazing razors. And the Blackbird, I really enjoyed in 2021. And up next, we have the Smart Helix Apollo light razor and I used this towards the end of 2021 and it is an amazingly smooth shaver. It's made in Ukraine stainless steel. It starts at $175. Just an amazingly smooth uh, shaver. It is well made. The fit and finish is very nice and I really enjoyed this a lot. This was sent to me just in the interest of full disclosure but I'm going to tell you I would definitely buy this razor with my own money, no question, starting at that 175 amazingly smooth razor. Smooth is really the way I would describe this one. Um, they have two plate options. There's a one line plate and this one is the two line plate. I prefer the two line plate. Just a really, really awesome razor. And this one uh, is new to me, but I just really loved it in 2021. And up next, we have the Christopher Bradley Razor from Carve up in Canada. And this is an amazing value. Starts at $78. You can get open comb. You can get the safety bar version. It is really an amazing uh, value. Great smooth shaver. They have lots of plate options. They also have this razor in stainless steel. The brass starts at $78. The stainless steel starts at about $154-ish. Really, really amazing razors here. Really good price on both nice, smooth razors. I absolutely love the car of Christopher Bradley razor, and they were just excellent and fun to use in 2021. And rounding out our top five list is an old school favorite. This is the Above the Tie SSRH. Above the Tie has been making premium safety razors for 10 years now. The price is about 185, which is about where they started. They've been doing it a long time and they are good at doing it. I really enjoyed using Above the Tie razors in 2021. I sort of rekindled my romance with Above the Tie. I got several of them this year and this one is nice, smooth, efficient, made in the United States. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention, if you're going to make an order with Above the Tie, use discount code IMCDB right there and save yourself 10%. Above the Tie is still an amazing premium safety razor. I know it's often ignored these days because there's so many new choices, but don't forget the old tried and true above the tie razor. I enjoyed it a lot in 2021. And now I'm going to give you a couple of honorable mentions and I will explain why. The first honorable mention goes to the Carbon CX316. This one is a stainless steel razor. It is a terrific shaver. I'm happy to own it and I'm glad I bought it. 
The problem with this razor is it's now $279 starting out for a stainless steel razor. It's not adjustable. There's nothing special in terms of needing extra parts. And at $279 for stainless steel for a three-piece, that's just a little high in my opinion, especially when you consider the fit and finish is decent to good, definitely not great. The packaging is really not great at all in my opinion. It is an amazing shaver though. So if you're only concerned with the shave and not the fit and finish or packaging, this is an excellent razor. However, the overall value given the fit and finish and packaging is just not great and that's why it's not in the top five. I do enjoy using it though and it is a great razor. The other honorable mention, I could not help but to put this one in. The Maddie Lindholm MLS21 razor. And Maddie Lindholm made this by hand. Very little machining on this, if any at all. Um, it's just an amazing achievement from, and he's one of us. You know, he's just a fellow shaver and he makes soaps, he makes brushes, he makes this razor. And I really enjoyed using it. And it is my sentimental uh, addition to the honorable mention uh, list. It's just an amazing achievement for Maddie, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that. All right, folks, there you have it. My top five and a couple of honorable mention uh, lists. Let me know below, what were your top five razors or DE razors specifically of 2021? Let me know below. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.